This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to promote your blog on Facebook. Here I am at the dashboard of my website, mostmediasolutions.com. And so I'm going to go to Posts, All Posts. There's a list of a few posts on my website. I'm going to choose Remarkable Marketing and select View. And there's the uh, blog post that I want to promote. As you can see, it's called Remarkable Marketing. I've got a photo at the top, some text, and an embedded video of Seth Godin. And I've got a little uh, promotional item here on my right-hand column, as well as just a list of recent posts. On my Facebook page, uh, I'm going to go to uh, my actual business page. I just chose that from uh, the pages list on the left hand side of my timeline. So back to the blog for a moment. I'm going to copy the actual address of this particular blog post. So I'm just right clicking, selecting copy, going back to Facebook. Again, I'm here on my actual business page. And I'm just going to paste in the URL of my blog. There it is. As you can see, I have two images here. One of them is from the right-hand column, and we don't want this. If you look very closely, there is a little white X available uh, on all images that uh, Facebook imports right up here in the right-hand column. So I'm just a uh, corner. So I'm just going to click remove there. So now I have the one image I want, which is at the top of my blog. And as you can see, it's still the URL up here, which is not really what I want. And I can just type right over this. It won't affect the fact that Facebook is linking to this particular URL. So we're going to do this. We're going to say Seth Godin says bad or bizarre is better than boring. learn more. Look, I have a typo. There we go. Down here, I can also edit this. I don't really need Moss Media because it also says that a little farther down in the, in the post right here. And there's really just too much text here. So I'm just grabbing this uh, bounding box to let me edit that. I'll just show you that again. Oops. Clicking through. So I just select the text and you see there's a little bounding box here I can just stretch it out a little more so it gives me some lets me see everything and I'm just going to remove uh, the last line here and leave the rest uh, but this is actually the header right here or the the title of my blog and I don't want that there either so now it just says in a world of too many options and too little time our obvious choice is just to ignore the ordinary stuff. And I'm just going to say, click here to read the entire blog. And that's it. If I hit publish, it's now on my timeline. And if someone were to click on the photo or any other place on this post, it takes them straight through to the blog. That's it.